Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Until Dawn dropped out recently. I hope this guide helps you out, so make sure to stick around till the end. It's made for both Windows 10 and 11 on all kind of PCs. Stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right, step number one is the compatibility settings. And for that, open up Steam on your PC and then right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. This will take you to the installation folder, head over to windows, baits, content, binaries, win64 and you'll find baits win64 shipping.exe. Right click on that, head over to properties and then go to compatibility. Click on disable full screen optimization, click on change high DPI settings, select this option, okay and then apply. Step number two is the best windows settings. And for that, head over to settings on your PC go over to gaming go over to game bar and turn this thing off it consumes a lot of memory in the background and disabling so will help you to gain extra fps go back to gaming head over to game mode and turn this thing on this will optimize your pc by turning things off in the background allowing you to get extra performance while you're playing the game right beneath that you'll find graphic settings click on that and head over to change default graphic settings enable both hardware accelerated gpu scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as this will utilize your graphic card primarily for gaming as well as reduce your input latency and rendering latency go back to gaming and then click on the browse button over over here and then go to the download location of your game once you find your folder click on that head over to windows baits binaries win64 and select the win64 shipping.exe click on add head over to options and then select high performance this will primarily utilize your graphic card to render the game close your settings next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc look for a local disk c click on create and name it until dawn this is just to remember it from i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss once it is done click on close and close system properties next step is the until dawn fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you can simply join my discord server and see the detailed downloading tutorial if you are facing any issues in here you'll find in six simple folders first one is ram optimization i have left a ton of ram presets according to your pc i have 32 gb ram so i have to choose this one it could be different for you you can double click and select reset to default if that doesn't work out well for you guys head over to the second folder which is cpu priority in here if you have an amd cpu you can double click and run the amd cpu priority or if if you have an intel cpu you can double click and run the intel cpu priority go back to the main folder and third is the batch files in here you have to right click and run the disable memory compression and it will automatically run this command to disable your memory compression similarly do the same for both of them and it will help you to increase your pc's performance drastically fourth one is the nvidia gpu optimization and over here if you have an amd gpu you can double click to run both of them the disable gpu energy driver and power throttling this will help your gpu no matter what and last one is only for the nvidia graphic card if you have an nvidia graphic card you can select the sfio priority and this will set your priority to the maximum level next is the until dawn priority in which i have left the until dawn high priority you can double click and run this and it will help you to prioritize your game last is the programs folder in which i have left three simple programs first one is cache cleaner right click and run this as administrator this will start deleting all of your temporary files which are completely useless and does not require and is not required on your pc simply let it run in the background and it will automatically remove them next is mem reduct you have to simply search it and open it up on your pc by installing it and here is how MemReduct actually works. As you guys can see that I have 10 GB of my memory currently in use and as soon as I click on clean memory and then click on yes, it will start reducing. This will help you to create a headroom for your games to perform better. I highly recommend you guys to run it every time you open up any game. Next is quickcpu.msi. You have to install it and open it on your PC. Once it opens up, set your system power plan to high performance or ultimate performance if you have it. Then scroll all of these sliders up to 100% and then click on apply. This will make sure that your CPU is performing on the maximum power throttle and all of the cores are currently in use. Once that is done, you can simply close it, close your FPS pack and now let's move to the next step that is deanimating windows. It is super essential. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and over here click on adjust for best performance and then click on apply. Head over to the advanced tab, click on the change button over here, deselect automatically manage paging file size and for the custom size set this thing to 1361 and for the maximum size open up your calculator and multiply your RAM with 1024. I have 32 GB RAM so I have to multiply 32 with 1024 and I'll get my memory in megabytes. Divide this by 2 and the value that I get over here is to be pasted in the maximum size right away. Once that is done, click on set, click on ok and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory for gaming. Next step is disabling sysmain and for that simply search for services on your pc and over here click on s on your keyboard and then look up for sysmain right click on that and stop it if it is already running head over to properties click on 
startup type and set this thing to disable click on apply and that should be it sys main consumes a lot of ram and cpu usage in the background and is really not helpful on your pc you can disable that to improve the performance of your game and your system overall once you're done with that close your services and now drop into the game for the best in game settings Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to settings. Over here, go over to video and then for the screen mode, set to full screen. Resolution should be on a monitor resolution. Frame rate limit should be turned off. V-Sync should also be turned off. Camera aspect ratio should be set to 2.39 is to 1 or 16 is to 9. For quality, overall quality, I have set this in custom. View distance, far. Anti-aliasing method, off. Anti-aliasing quality, low. Post-processing, low. Shadows, low. Texture, medium. Effects, low, but you guys can also go with medium. Foliage, low. Volumetric, lightning and fog. This is the biggest frame effect here. You guys can set this thing to low. Reflections, low. And shading quality, low. Under the advanced tab, you have to turn off motion blur, filmic grain, chromatic aberration, bloom, and virtual shadow maps. Set the image sharpening to 35. And then for the resolution scaling, upscale method should be set to DLSS on quality, or you guys can go with AMD FSR on balanced or performance. Make sure that frame generation is turned on and ray tracing is turned off. Watch done with that, press your escape key, click on yes, and then click on yes. Go back and enjoy the best frame rate possible in the game. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash your subscribe button. We have also rolled out channel membership. We have also rolled out channel membership. So if you guys are not a channel member yet, consider getting the membership as it really helps me out. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.